Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In this video, we are going to learn two concepts and the first concept is very interesting. We are going to convert an image into a text. That means we are going to extract the text from an image. And second concept is very popular actually. Uh, for example, if you go to this uh, justdial.com and if you search something, of course, we'll get this pop-up. We are going to handle that. Already I have a code I will show you. So we'll go to this URL and we have this like text equal to x that is this one we'll wait until the uh this pop-up appears and then we'll click on that uh so basically we are trying to close on this okay and if you see here i have forced true because sometimes the click is not working properly so i have used the force and also i have added two more seconds delay uh, that means after this visibility we'll wait another two seconds and then we'll do the force click okay and here if you see here this is the text right it looks like a text so you might think like if i have to extract this i can use the get text or get the inner text text whatever the function we have in play right and we can extract but no there is no direct way actually so even uh, i got this question in our discord channel a few weeks ago i think uh, so if you go here yeah here yeah. so one of our uh, friend asked in like uh, he wants to automate this and he is not able to extract the phone numbers i thought it's going to be very easy just to like uh, get text and that should work then i came to know that it's kind of pseudo element and also i came to know that it is actually uh, not easy to get okay what i meant is if you go and inspect this first of all this is not a single element this is multiple element each and every text is within the element of course we can use the get text then we can do it but that's not going to work so if you see here within the span class we have the pseudo element this is basically the pseudo element like before and after are pseudo elements but here uh, there is also way to extract the pseudo element text using the get computated style i have tried that but i am not able to get it why because if you see here this is basically they have some kind of they played with the javascript and the css so even if i take this value this value is not giving me the correct phone number or the integer what i have here what we can see here okay how they have done this right i have searched few things like uh, if you go and google this probably you can see more on this like just style uh, web scrapping phone number this is actually very popular if you search this you can see like there are a lot of questions asked and none of them have the perfect answer a uh, few people have done with the help of css but uh, i mean this class name so if you see here this has like icon trs trs means it's going to be zero and fec means it's going to be eight like that so you have to extract all the class name then you have to write some logic to find it but in future release this might also change so they keeps on changing and that's not going to work for sure okay so if you go and search this in google you'll see a lot of videos and a lot of uh, uh, data relevant to this but that's going to be really really tricky so what i did is basically i captured this screenshot okay i captured this area alone i converted into a i mean i took the screenshot then with the help of tesseract uh, js uh, that is used to convert the uh, what we call that uh, convert the image into a text so that is what i have done this so i'm not saying this is the perfect way to do but i think uh, this is interesting okay so we are able to learn this low. so whenever there is an image and if you have text you can convert that into a text okay so and this is very really really easy um, code so that's why the reason i have already written so here you can see like we have a async function convert text convert to text and we'll get the screenshot name here and then this is the only one line okay so await uh, tesseract dot recognize and here you can give the path of your screenshot and from there we are going to take the data and dot text data in the sense it will give you some meta information like uh, text we will get you will get some like what is the language and i can just print it and check you will get some detail but we are interested on the text not the entire data so here i says like image dot image text dot data dot txt and this is just a custom variable i hope you know all this stuff okay and here the code is very simple what i did is like i have taken the css i took the css to find all the uh phone numbers okay so if i go and inspect here you can see like we have around 20 
So this is the first. This is the enter. We I'm going to take the screenshot. So that's why I'm going to this particular element. So if I come down, you can see like all the A tags have the phone number and few places there are plus nine one with curly braces as well. I mean normal braces, but even though we will get that also. Okay. So let me execute and show you. Here I am storing in the uh, parent root folder itself. So whenever there is a screenshot, you can see actually. Let me show you. And it says uh, no test found. Seriously. Okay. Uh, we are getting like no test found because if I go to this uh, config file, so I am using my uh, VS Code extension which doesn't work with this test match so if you comment this and then go back and click on this execute player at test then it's going to work fine okay so here you can see like uh, what are the images we are going to get uh, that's going to be here so let's go to the browser it's going to pop up the pop up that uh, i mean close that pop up kind of x so it takes some times so that is the reason i have the wait for selector now, if you see uh, carefully, it's going to take all the screenshot and we can see the same here as well. So here you can see like uh, I am I'm storing the screenshot based on the date dot now. That means based on the time, it will take all the screenshot. Okay. Once it's completed, uh, I mean, once the screenshot is took, then we are using this convert to text where we are passing the same path of this screenshot where it is stored and based on that we are just trying to extract the test okay i mean text that's it it's very simple and i think uh, this is uh, very useful actually okay so just to show you if you go here um the first number is something like um, this one right so if i go back to this picture you can see like uh, let me zoom a bit yeah so 0804578 you can see right so this one of course you can compare yourself if you don't trust me but trust me it's working fine and here we have some few numbers with plus let me yeah so here you can select 366 uh, yeah this one so we are able to extract the text from the just style application with the help of tesseract js and the playwright okay so yeah this is very quick tutorial i know but it's really easy just one line of code this is what we have learned today a uh, new thing and one more concept is basically this one right you can give it a try uh if you go within this you can see like all the numbers are within the span if you try to use the get text uh or get computated style in selenium also it's not working i have tried actually in selenium uh, let me quickly show you that yeah, this is the code actually pseudo element class uh, so this is the actual one uh, if you want to get a text from the pseudo element we can use this like get computated style uh, using the JavaScript executor, I have tried actually, but uh, I failed. It's not working. Okay, so I will leave this code uh, and as well as the playwright code in my GitHub. Probably you can check that. Okay, so that's it for my side. I hope this is very interesting and useful. You will learn few things today. Uh, yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. Based on Tata bye bye. Take care. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me. And also, you can find the entire code base on my GitHub. And also, most important, you have to add the Tesseract uh, JS in your GitHub. I mean, in your package.json. So please add this and then do the stuff. Okay. So that's it. Tada, bye bye. See you next one. See you in the next one.